What's up YouTube, Jeff back again today with a very exciting Samsung video for you guys and today we're going to be talking about a feature that was removed from One UI 6.1 that a lot of people will complain about. It actually ruins the one-handed use of your Galaxy smartphone, which of course since this is One UI, that's what everybody really wants in their Samsung smartphone. Before we get started, I do want to thank my four-year-old son Jonathan. We've got the T-Rex and the horse hanging out by here. He always gives us some dinos, animals, etc. to hang out. Also, if you guys haven't yet, make sure you check out our website, SammyGrew.com. We're covering the latest news, tutorials, updates, tips, tricks, reviews, etc. Um, covering full-time now, we have, you know, six to eight articles up every day. Uh, we're expanding the team over there with writers. So all the news that breaks there, sometimes before I can even cover a video, make sure you're checking frequently. Also, you can sign up for our Mystery Box program if you're in the U.S. If you're going to be buying a Galaxy S25 Ultra, get a free case cleaning kit, desktop phone stand, other randomly inserted goodies. I'll drop the link below if you guys are interested in checking that out. So today what we're talking about is inside of One UI, one of the main goals that Samsung set when they designed it and the reason they named it One UI is to make it easily to use one-handed. Now one thing that was changed currently in the newest version of One UI that a lot of people have complained about is if you go into your gallery and you take a look here at the gallery, you'll notice that some of the additional options, like if I tap on this, some of the additional options have been moved in the default to the top. You'll notice down here, the three dots menu that I have right there at the bottom is a lot easier for one-handed use. So what you can do to enable this is you can enable a hidden menu inside of the Samsung Gallery called Gallery Labs. Now Gallery Labs not only allows you to bring back this option, it also allows you to enable a bunch of other cool features inside the gallery as well. So the way you do it is tap on the three lines here, go to settings, and then once you go to settings, what you're going to do is you're going to scroll down and you're going to find about gallery. You're going to tap on the version number over and over again here, right there. I've already enabled it, so nothing's going to happen. But if you tap on this enough times, uh, it'll enable the gallery labs. And down here, you'll see gallery labs. This is for internal testing only. Functions in labs are not official and they can be disappeared. So they can be removed at any time. So if you like a feature, don't necessarily expect that it'll stick around. So if you tap on this, you'll see here that it says Gallery Labs on. And the first option here is More Options in Viewer Bottom. So it says once disabled, more options will be moved to the top menu in Viewer, disabled from One UI 6.0. So you guys see, I have this turned on. Uh, I'll show you what it does though. If you turn it off, which is the default. Now you'll notice if you close your app out and restart it after turning that option off, you'll see that the more options, the three dot menu is now moved to the top. So you do have to close your app in order for it to restart and kind of take effect. But now if we change it back, go back to Gallery Labs, turn this back on here and go back, you'll notice it's still there at the top. What you gotta do is close this out of the memory. And so then if you close it out of the memory and come back, now the three dots menu is moved to the bottom again. So if you don't like having the three dots menu with all the extra options at the top, you can go into Gallery Labs and then turn this option on, which like I said, the default is that it's off, starting with One UI 6.0. You can get back some of your one-handed usability. Now there's a couple of other things you can do that are really cool. You can return to viewer while exiting. While exiting viewer by dragging down, you can return to viewer according to its position. Not something I use, but if you're someone who manages a lot of photos and goes through them quickly, this can be a very useful thing and save you some time. Tag in search V2. So tag search uh, is um, in search first page is moved to recommendations. Not a big deal, but you can search by tags in the gallery. Um, this is now uh, tag in search first page is now moved to recommendations page. So if you go back, getting tongue tied here. If you go back over here and you look at all of your different pages over here, when you see the recommended albums, you'll see that those end up being the uh, first page for the tag search. And then the bottom one, which is the remote gallery, access an album of the remote device in the same Wi-Fi domain. I was actually thinking about making this particular video as a standalone, where you can use like your Galaxy tablet or your Galaxy book computer to access things remotely on here. There's a bunch of other ones that were, you know, enabled before One UI 6.0. Save as PDF is one that I use a lot. Uh, album entry locks is another one that's a good one to use. Some of these are just, you know, ones that are probably I wouldn't use that often. Show trash storage info, it's another good one all the way back from One UI 2.0. Uh, video viewer, if you want to play the next video automatically instead of going to the next photo on your list. 
Um, show EXIF in details if you're a photography nerd. Um, show cached image in details if you want. There's a lot of advanced options in here that you can utilize um, if you are a photography enthusiast or if you're just a tech enthusiast and you want some finer control over the way your photos look and feel. Anyway, this is the main one I wanted to bring your attention to because a lot of people do not like having the three dots menu at the top. Ruins the one-handed usability, like I said, which is counter to the point of One UI. Uh, and you can get this back by enabling that simple option. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, like, comment, subscribe to the notification icon for future videos like this. Again, check out samiguru.com and also the mystery boxes on our website. If you're going to be buying Galaxy S25 Ultra device, we appreciate you checking out this video. And I'll see you in the next one. Thanks a lot for watching.